Deb Belger here. I'm with Teaspoon of Fun and I'm here to show you how to do this beautiful luxe peony flower. It's very easy but um, we've had a lot of questions on it so I decided I would show you how to do it. Super super easy. This one I did with just plain um, cardstock. The um, one that I'm going to show you here is done with gray and I did it with um, a little bit of our new Luma paint. Um, very easy again on um, how to do this, but I'm going to show you how to do this on another video. The background is absolutely gorgeous. I do cut out lots of extra pieces and keep them on hand so that um, when we go to use them, um, they're at the ready. All right, so I cut out a bunch of these. Uh, with the flower, you're going to get um, six flowers, and you're also going to get two stems in this one die set. So what I want to do is just show you how easy this is to do. Um, you can color it before or after. You can leave it white. You can actually color it out of co uh, colored cardstock, so then you don't even have to color. But I just like to um, put everything together and um, color to, to kind of suit my, my needs as I need it. So um, doing them with white is really um, the easiest way for me. So all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of color. Before I put it together, I think it's easier. And then you can just kind of highlight afterwards. And this is how easy it is. All right, so there's that piece. Just going to go along. I'm using Copic markers here. Let me just move this out of the way here. Okay. Um, super easy. Super, super easy. Some of you should be getting yours in the mail that, that ordered them. And um, like I said, there it's super easy to do. So there, I've co colored all of these. I did cut out um, some green ones, um, otherwise I can color the green. So here's the green ones I cut, I cut out, but I can also just cut these if I need to. But for today and um, doing it quickly, I'm just gonna do that. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker color and just highlight. And remember with these, um, they do lighten up as they dry. These are alcohol markers. So I'm just gonna bring in these. And like I said, I'm gonna take and I'm going to leave these out because at the end, after I get my uh, flower together, I might just add a little bit of color here and there. Go back in with my dark one and just blend those two together. Okay, I like to leave some white on this. And just kind of blending these in. There we go. There. Alrighty, so there's my there's my flower. The next part is so super easy. We're just gonna take our we're just gonna take our deluxe adhesive and just start gluing it together. So um, what I like to do is, oh, before I do that, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna curl them just a little bit with my crease tool, all right? You wanna hold on to the middle of it because um, you don't want it to rip off. If it does rip off, it's not a big deal because what we're gonna do is um, just glue it together with our glue. So I'm just gonna kind of start to curl these and you're gonna see at the end that I'm gonna actually curl them back up again. It's really kind of a lot of fun, but you're gonna see how fast this is. Let me just blend this one a little bit better here. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, let's see, we curled that one. See, if you don't, if you just take and pull on these, what's going to end up happening is it's going to uh, rip right off and you don't want that to happen. All right. So now we're going to start with our bottom layer. I like to put this, this fat part down at the bottom. So that is my bottom piece right here. 
So I'm just going to take and put that at the bottom. I'm going to add some of our adhesive. Okay, just in the middle there. And um, we're going to take, oh, I forgot one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I forgot to color this one. So let's grab this one. And you don't have to use all the pieces for this. I'm going to show you how to do it. But um, you really don't have to. If you don't like one piece or another piece, you can just take and eliminate it. All right, no big deal. Like I said, these, these are very customizable. All right, so I've got the fatter part down there at the bottom. The next one I'm going to put on is this three-piece. And what I'm going to do is just kind of intertwine it in between these little guys right here. So let's just go kind of like that. And then what I do is I take my uh, retractable knife and just put it in there. We're going to use this retractable knife um, at, at the end also. So it's not just a, a thing that I hold down. You'll see how fast that this glue... Um, adheres and you'll also notice that I always put the top back on that's very important um, because you don't want it to dry out so the next one I'm going to put on is the other one that so it went from it went from the big one to three and then two and again I'm just going to kind of turn it a little bit putting it right in the middle like this holding it for just a second with this little piece right here do you see how it's already bringing up the uh, the uh, beauty of the flower okay we're almost done all right, now we're going to take and we're going to use either one of these two pieces right here. So I will take the larger one first, add some more adhesive right here. Okay, we're going to add that to, oops, this one I got to, this is the one I forgot. All right, I'm just going to take and I'm going to curl it. All right, and then just add that up there a little bit to the middle, but um, higher. You're going to see these two are going to go down just a little bit lower. All right. Just hold it with your retractable pick. There we go. See how pretty that is? And don't forget, it will lighten up when it dries. I'm talking about the color. It'll lighten up when you, when you do this. So I'm just putting the top back on. And this one I'm going to put down just a little bit lower. Go off to the side. See how I'm kind of just turning it a little bit just to give it a little bit more depth. All right, just hold it for just a second. And then this is going to be your last one. That's how easy it is. But I'm not done because I want to show you how to curl and make it come even more alive. All right, so this one's going to come right down here. All righty. And the last piece right here. All righty. There, that's all there is to it. So we're going to let it dry just a little bit. And while we're doing that, we're going to add our little um, stems to it. Now, you can do that on the card. I'm just going to set this off to the side for just a minute so it can dry. We're going to add our layered pieces right here. So I'm just going to take my Easy Grand Runner. There we go. I always put a little bit of extra in there when you, um, because you know when we're doing our, uh, our 3D embossing folders, we always take our little spritzer right here and just spritz it before I run it through the machine. So this right here um, uh, was a little bit wet. And after it dried, I'm just going to put it all together. And this is my, my background layer. Okay, now we're ready for these little guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. All right, and let's see. We'll put that one there. And we'll put this one here. And you can make up a whole bunch of these. And then when you're ready, don't put a saying on it. And then when you're ready and you need a sentiment, you just put the sentiment on that you need for that particular card. So right now I'm in the midst of making a whole bunch of thank you cards. Um, so probably that's what you're going to see me doing a lot here. All right, so there's one. And you notice I didn't put it on the upper part. That's because I wanted it to kind of stick up a little bit, give it a little bit more dimension. Put the top on my glue. There we go. Let's make sure that they're in the right spot. Yep, that's good, good, good. All righty. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take some, some foam, foam dot. All right, for this one, I think I'll just use the smaller ones because I just want the middle to be done. Okay, and now before I put that on there, what I'm going to do is just curl it a little bit. So this is where the retractable um, 
uh, picker comes in. It, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm just going to take it, I'm going to bend them with this retractable picker. Okay, you see how much more depth it's going to be? Very, very pretty. And then I'll do it again after it's on there. Alrighty, isn't that so pretty? Look at, that's all there is to this. This little flower, you can do as many, as as many uh, levels of, of leaves as you want. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and just kind of uh, blend it in a little bit more. I'm going to take my YR000 and just, there we go. See? And then we're just kind of blending in the color. And that's all there is to this. That is our peony flower. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put my little saying on there when I need it, and we're done. I hope you enjoyed my post for today. Make sure you like it, um, share it with your friends, and come back soon. Thank you. Take care.